Synthetic Biology Playing with the Code of Life Introduction What if life itself could be rewritten like a story? For centuries, humans studied nature, trying to understand the hidden code that makes plants grow, animals breathe, and people live. Now, in the 21st century, science has reached a point where we no longer just read that code. We can begin to write it. This daring new field is called synthetic biology, and it is changing the way we think about life itself. From microbes that eat plastic to yeast that produce malaria drugs, synthetic biology promises solutions to some of humanity's biggest problems. Yet with such power comes risk. What happens if an engineered organism mutates or escapes? What if the line between creation and destruction blurs? The story of synthetic biology is not only about science, it is about human choices, hope, and responsibility. Join us as we explore this dramatic chapter in the history of science. Discover how scientists are reshaping life, why it matters, and what it could mean for the future of our world. Playing with the code of life. What if the very stuff of life, the code inside every living thing, was a language we could learn to write? Imagine a dark room lit by a futuristic screen. On it, DNA strands glow like spiraling rivers of neon light. Across the screen float the letters A, T, C, and G, the alphabet of life itself. They shift and rearrange, forming new patterns, like poetry written in fire. This is not the dream of science fiction. This is synthetic biology, the bold science of writing the code of life. The birth of a radical idea. Synthetic biology is young, but its roots stretch back centuries. In the 19th century, Gregor Mendel studied pea plants and uncovered the rules of inheritance. Then came the 20th century, when Watson and Crick discovered DNA's double helix in 1953. Suddenly, life looked like a code waiting to be cracked. Through the 1970s and 1980s, scientists learned how to cut and paste genes. Like engineers swapping parts in a machine, they created genetically modified crops, bacteria that produced medicine, and even glowing fish. But these were still tweaks, edits to what nature had already made. The dream of synthetic biology went further. What if we could build life as freely as we build bridges or airplanes? The real shift began in the early 2000s, when advances in DNA sequencing and synthesis made it possible to design entire genetic systems. Instead of borrowing from nature, researchers could imagine and create new biological circuits, cells programmed like computers. The field exploded, powered by the idea that life was not only biology but also engineering. What is synthetic biology? At its heart, synthetic biology is about designing and constructing new biological parts, devices, and systems. Instead of waiting for evolution to stumble upon solutions, humans try to invent them directly. Think of it this way. Traditional biology is like reading a novel written by nature, while synthetic biology is like writing your own novel using the same alphabet. The components can be thought of like this. Letters, A, T, C, G, the four bases of DNA, the raw code. Words, genes, specific instructions that tell a cell to do something. Sentences, genetic circuits, groups of genes, working together to perform a function, paragraphs, genomes, the full instruction book of life for an organism. The Promise of Synthetic Biology Synthetic biology shines with promise. It is already shaping medicine, agriculture, and industry. Medicine. Companies like Ginkgo Bioworks are programming cells to produce everything from fragrances to vaccines. Synthetic biology also powers the Malaria Consortium's Artemisinin project, 
where engineered yeast produce a key ingredient for malaria drugs, saving lives at a fraction of the cost. Agriculture. Crops are being designed to survive droughts, resist pests, and even draw nitrogen from the air, reducing the need for fertilizers. Industry. Engineered bacteria can produce spider silk-like fibers stronger than steel. While algae are being tested as living factories for clean biofuels. Environment. Scientists have created microbes that can break down plastic waste. Offering hope for a planet drowning in bottles and packaging. If perfected, such microbes could transform trash into harmless byproducts. Or even useful materials. Already, synthetic biology has given us cheaper insulin faster vaccine production, and biodegradable plastics. It promises a future where living cells themselves act as green factories. The Peril and the Precautions Every bright light casts a shadow. The same power that can heal could also harm. Unlike a computer virus, a biological one can spread through bodies, cities, and continents. Consider this scenario. A synthetic microbe is designed to eat oil and help clean up environmental spills. But what if it mutates, or worse, is deliberately altered, to feed instead on the beneficial bacteria in soil? A project meant to save the planet could suddenly threaten the very ground that grows our food. To prevent such disasters, scientists are building safeguards. One key idea is the kill switch a genetic circuit designed to make a synthetic organism self-destruct. Under certain conditions, such as leaving the lab environment, this acts like a biological off-switch, ensuring that engineered life does not run wild. Still, there are ethical questions. If we can design life, what does that make us, engineers, artists, or something like gods? Where should we draw the line? between invention and playing with powers we cannot fully control? A future written in DNA. Looking forward, synthetic biology may shape the 21st century as deeply as electricity, shape the 19th or the internet shape the 20th. Its future may unfold in several directions. Medicine, cells programmed to hunt down, cancer, or custom-made viruses that cure genetic diseases. Environment. Microbes that clean oil spills, capture carbon dioxide, recycle waste, and eat plastic. Industry. Living factories that produce materials, fuels, and chemicals without pollution. Space exploration. NASA studies how engineered microbes might help astronauts survive on Mars by producing food, oxygen, and building materials. Yet every step forward demands caution. The dream of redesigning life must balance wonder with wisdom. The Human Story Science is not only about facts and inventions, it is about the story of us. Synthetic biology is part of humanity's oldest dream, to understand life, and to shape it. From the fire stolen in myth to the machines of the industrial age, humans have always pushed against the limits of nature. Synthetic biology is the newest chapter in that restless story. But unlike machines, life can reproduce, evolve, and spread. When we write in the language of DNA, our words can echo across generations. What we create today may outlive us, may grow beyond us, and may define the future of our species. Conclusion. Standing at the edge. We stand now on a cliff's edge, staring into the unknown. On one side lies the promise of cures, clean energy, and a planet healed. On the other side lies danger, diseases unleashed, ecosystems disturbed, ethics tested. Synthetic biology is both wonder and warning, both hope and hazard. It is the science of writing new life. Whether that story becomes a tragedy or a triumph will depend not only on the brilliance of scientists, but also on the wisdom of all of us. 
In the end, synthetic biology is not just about DNA. It is about humanity asking one more ancient question in a modern tongue. What will we do with the power to create life itself? It's time to study new words in context. 1. Daring. Definition. The quality of being bold, brave, or willing to take risks. Example. The scientist made a daring decision to test a new idea that no one had tried before. 2. Microbe. Definition. A very tiny living organism, such as a bacterium or fungus, that can only be seen under a microscope. Example. The microbe helped clean the water by breaking down harmful chemicals. 3. Mutate. Definition. To change in form or structure, especially in the genetic code of a living organism. Example. The virus began to mutate, making it harder to control. 4. Blur. Definition. To make something unclear or hard to see or define to mix boundaries. Example. The line between human invention and nature began to blur with new technologies. 5. DNA strands. Definition. Long, thin, twisted chains. Made of genetic material that carry the instructions for building living things. Example. Scientists study the DNA strands to understand how the organism grows. 6. Inheritance. Definition. The passing of traits or characteristics. From parents to their children through genes. Example. Eye color is determined by genetic inheritance. 7. Helix. Definition. A spiral shape, like a twisted ladder or spring. Example. DNA has a double helix shape, which holds the code of life. 8. Tweak. Definition. To make a small change to something to improve or adjust it. Example. The engineer tweaked the design to make it work more smoothly. 9. DNA sequencing and synthesis. Definition. DNA sequencing means finding the order of the genetic letters in DNA. While DNA synthesis means building or creating new DNA strands. Example. The team used DNA sequencing and synthesis to design a new kind of bacteria. 10. At its heart. Definition. At its most basic or essential level. The central idea. Example. At its heart, the project is about protecting the environment. 11. Genetic circuits. Definition. Groups of genes that work together. Like electrical circuits to control what a cell does. Example. Scientists built genetic circuits to make cells glow. Under certain conditions. 12. Genome. Definition. The complete set of genetic material in a living thing. Example. Every human cell carries a full copy of the human genome. 13. Fragrance. Definition. A pleasant or sweet smell, often used in perfumes or products. Example. The company used synthetic biology to create a natural rose fragrance. 14. Algae. Definition. Simple plant-like organisms that live in water and can produce energy through sunlight. Example. Algae can be used to make clean energy and even fuel. 15. Biofuel. Definition. A type of fuel. Made from plants or other natural sources instead of oil. Example. Scientists hope biofuel can replace gasoline in the future. 16. Biodegradable. Definition. Able to break down naturally without harming the environment. Example. The company made biodegradable plastic that disappears. After a few months. 17. A synthetic microbe. Definition. A tiny organism that has been designed or modified by humans. Using synthetic biology techniques. Example. A synthetic microbe was created to help clean up oil spills in the ocean. Comprehension questions. 1. What is synthetic biology? Answer. Synthetic biology is the science of designing and constructing new biological parts, devices, and systems, essentially writing the code of life rather than just reading it. 2. How does the article compare traditional biology with synthetic biology? Answer, traditional biology is like reading a novel written by nature, while synthetic biology is like writing a new novel using the same alphabet of DNA. 3. What do the letters A, T, C, and G stand for in DNA? Answer, they represent the four bases of DNA, 
adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, the letters of life's code. Four, list the four components of the writing analogy used in the article. Answer, letters A, T, C, G, DNA bases. Words, genes. Sentences, genetic circuits. Paragraphs, genomes. Five, when did the real shift towards synthetic biology begin? According to the article, answer, in the early 2000s, when advances in DNA sequencing and synthesis made it possible to design entire genetic systems. Six, name one company and one project. Mentioned in the article that use synthetic biology. Answer, company, Ginkgo Bioworks, project, Malaria Consortium's Artemis Inn project. Seven, give one example of how synthetic biology is already helping medicine. Answer, it has enabled cheaper production of insulin and faster development of vaccines. Eight, what is an environmental application of synthetic biology mentioned in the article? Answer, scientists have created microbes that can break down plastic waste, offering hope for reducing pollution. Nine, what fictional peril scenario does the article describe? Answer, a synthetic microbe designed to eat oil might mutate or be altered to feed on beneficial soil bacteria threatening agriculture and ecosystems. 10. What is a kill switch in synthetic biology? Answer, a genetic safeguard built into synthetic organisms that makes them self-destruct under certain conditions, preventing them from escaping control. 11. Why is synthetic biology considered both a promise and a danger? Answer, it offers cures, clean energy, and environmental solutions but also risks like engineered pathogens, ecosystem disruption, and ethical dilemmas. 12. What future applications of synthetic biology are mentioned? For space exploration? Answer. NASA studies engineered microbes that could help astronauts survive on Mars by producing food, oxygen, and building materials. 13. How does the article connect synthetic biology to humanity's larger story? Answer, it describes synthetic biology as part of humanity's ongoing quest to push boundaries um, from stealing fire and myth to building machines, now extended to reshaping life itself. 14. What does the conclusion suggest about humanity's role in synthetic biology? Answer, humanity must use wisdom and responsibility to decide whether synthetic biology becomes a tragedy or a triumph. 15. In your own words, what is the ancient question that synthetic biology makes us ask again? Answer, the question is, what will we do with the power to create life itself?